This is gonna be an experiment. I don't really know what's going on with this gimbal. It's like going crazy. But uh, we're live and uh, we. Oh, it's here, it's here, it's here. <laughs> Change the channel on the VHS. Uh, we're gonna go through the Panama Canal in like. Right here, 100 yeah. meters in front of us. We have just oh, rafted up with our buddy boats. Yeah. Headed to transit the first lock down for the Pacific. Very exciting. It's pretty crazy. We're gonna leave the Atlantic. We've been in the Atlantic for six years now. Six years. <laughs> we're uh, all the time. There's a lot going on. Yeah. We're not gonna be able to answer a lot of questions. Um, but we just thought we'd like to take you along for the ride and see what happens. Yeah. Do you want to flip it around and just go walk around yeah. outside and show us what's going on? Okay. So this is our situation right now. Connor Hello. is here. <laughs> and we have the boat in the middle. It's this one. And then it's one other boat on the other side. This camera is going crazy. Why is it not staying gimbal? Anyways. Um, and I'm gonna show you. So the locks are like right there. size for us it was about $2,200 uh, but for cargo ships it can be like hundreds of thousands of dollars I've heard figures ranging from 400,000 more there was a uh, cruise ship that just passed us that has to pay like $130 per person wow so 2200 bucks for us seems like a pretty good deal yeah uh, it's gonna take 26.7 million gallons of water which is the same as 40 and a half Olympic swimming pools it took 10 years to build 
cost U.S. $375 million, which in today's dollars is $11 billion. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, and each lock in the canal has more steel, uh, more concrete, and took more work than building the Empire State. So it's wow. like building multiple Empire State. Yeah. Wow. Man. Yeah, that's crazy. So some people are asking, like, who we have as crew. So it's me and Brian and Sierra. Uh, we have Jordan here. Uh, Jordan has sailed with us before, like a couple of years ago. We saw her last time when me and uh, Brian got married. And Connor is here that you might know from the TTYC um, in the Bahamas. Ragged Island Lockdown Crew. <laughs> and Zipper Ryan is here that sailed with us in the U.S. And we, you know, we met up with him a couple of times. So. Yeah, and then we have one professional line handler, which has been super nice helping us with the lines. Marcos. Marcos. And then we have one uh, advisor um, that kind of... Each boat has their own advisor. Yeah, every boat has their own, hey, and you have to have that. Guys, 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 definitely no right now. Um, yeah, so <laughs> we have no, we met the other the boats good. that we're in the pod with. We met them in the marina, in Shelter Bay Marina, where we just were. Uh, uh, so and they're super nice super cool so you always like hear horror stories of people like smashing into the wall putting like holes in their boats and stuff but I don't know I think it's gonna be good uh, the Sun is just about to go down so it will be dark pretty soon but um, Sierra do you want to say hi I'm doing like a live thing here do you want to say hi look look at yourself there hi hi <laughs> yes, uh, to answer, uh, I don't know who said that. The comments are going so fast, but I just read a comment. Jordan from Drench? Yes. Yes. Jordan from Drench. Um, yeah, this is an exciting time, and we're going to leave the Atlantic. I can't believe it. Uh, I might just set you guys down for a hot minute and uh, you want me to, you want me to hold it? organize or some things. What are you going to do? I don't know. Are you sure you can hold it? Yep, I'm just gonna give us a view out the window here. I'm gonna flip it around though. Everybody's saying hi to Nugs. Like, what would be the link? Uh, I would say just go to youtube.com forward slash SV Dallas. Yeah, okay. Or go to our YouTube page and find the link. Hello. Hi, Connor. Oh, that's a pretty cool Go GoPro. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's very exciting. Heading for the Pacific. Just waiting for the lock to open. There they are. Tug going by. Jordan, you're not Canadian. She's American. America. America. I'm from Kansas. Sir. She's from Kansas. Yeah, we're live. All right. Panama Canal 2022. It's a, it's a thing, isn't it? Hell yeah! Bring it on! Awesome, yeah. Oh, it's a Friday night, too. Look at that disco, tub. disco party at the Lake Gatun. Lake tonight, yeah. yeah. Go get out. Yeah, he's really jamming on the engine. Uh, 
I got it all right for now. We'll do that in the, in the locks. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm trying to answer some questions. 7.45 a.m. in the Philippines. People watching the San Blas videos, that's good. Hello from cold Canada. Yeah, it's hot here. It was uh, 33, 34 Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. 80, 80, 89, 90, something like that. Ooh, thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate that. What are our plans? Uh, I think we're gonna head up into Sea Cortez and make a plan. Uh, yeah, just get through the canal right now. We're gonna take a couple months uh, we went up the coast of like Costa Rica and then up into Mexico. And then after that, we'll be up in the Sea of Cortez for the hurricane season. Maybe now it's getting so big. I know, hang on. Sierra. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is my navigation set up here. Got the chart plotter. I'll show you where we are. So this is the locks. We're gonna go through here when we get locked through. We will spend the night in Lake Gatun, and then the next morning, 50 miles away, we'll end up over here, which is the Miraflores locks, and then the Pacific Ocean right here. Crazy, right? Thank you, Allison. We appreciate that. Thank you, Will. Oh, Will sorry. Rogers, we appreciate that. Did you clean your lungs, though, Brian? Is my limbs a little dirty? Yeah. Can you give me a towel? <laughs> can, I, can I hand this back? Yeah. Cleaning the limbs. That's better, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Make a comment if you can hear us. Can you hear us? Kyoto, Japan, very cool. The lens is much better, awesome, good. She worked on celebrity for Five by five. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we hear you. All right, good to hear nice. us. Nice. Good. Working. <laughs> we are having a great time going to 50 now so far. We're getting lined up. Our buddy boat over here. We got some kids and they're so excited. Amazing job. Driving here. I'm doing it real lightly. 
Let me know if you want more. I'm just idle right now. Calico Skies. No, that's not Calico Skies. They get to come through tomorrow. This is a 48 Leopard Forward Idol. Forward Idol. Forward Idol. Forward Things in the canal up here? Yeah. So there's an arrow. There's an arrow right over here that tells us we have to go down this side of the lot. And these over here, these tugs, these are what pull the big ships in. Oh, yeah. So yeah. these move along at the same speed as the ship and tow them along. We don't use those because we're so small. So we're going to have these line handlers over here. Okay. And they're just going to walk the lines along with us. We don't have to worry about the side to side so much. So you see them walking down, they're going to start pacing the boat. They have their monkey fist in hand. They get, they're all got the ready to uh, throw the line. The next line handler is coming out. He's going to follow back over here. Somebody said, I'm everywhere. That's correct. I'm in Panama with Connor. Hanging out in <laughs> Delos. Yeah. Closer to the lock. You guys want me to go up to the bow of the boat and go from there? We're gonna head up to the bow of the boat. I just sent a text to my wife and daughter and let her know I was, we were doing a live shot. I'm gonna come up here to the front. Hopefully we don't drop the camera. That'd be bad. So now you can see our, our buddy boats here. Get ready to throw the monkey fist over here. There, There's a one. monkey throw. So they just threw one of our lines. about the video quality not being the best. We are kind of in the middle of nowhere here. Kids look so stoked. They are great. They are so stoked. Not only are they tons of fun, but they also are huge Delos fans even before they knew they were going to go through the canal with us. So we're getting even closer. Sorry, the gimbal's having some issues. Video is great. All right, good. Good, good. Every once in a while what we're doing is, so the captain on the catamaran is right here. And he's our middle boat. So he's trying to power all three of these boats. You can't see it, but you can barely see the mast of the third boat that's hooked up with us right there. And that guy uh, in this captain seat here is trying to drive us through. And you can't hear it, but his engines are really working hard because we're actually a longer boat than he is. And so we're just barely getting through here uh, with ease. But Brian's having to, every once in a while, nudge our engine in order to, to counterbalance it so we don't get too twisted side by side. Getting closer. Why are the three boats connected? Okay, the three boats are connected because 
they can only put so many boats through the canal per day. And so it's more of a safety reason. And then we can also, width-wise, it works out really well to be the same width as the canal. And that way the lines work out well. Uh, are they coming up the Bay Area to visit? We'll see. We'll see. George Kessel says, very stressful. Not so far. We've got like 15 people on each boat for the mandatory reasons. So we have to, uh, we've got plenty of people. It's actually fairly relaxing. The hardest part is actually videotaping all of this. We've got more cameras going right now than I can tell you. And you'll get to see here in about, I bet two and a half months, the full video of this. Who is talking? Uh, Super Ryan is talking. If you've seen older videos, you saw me with these guys. How many times I've done it? Nobody on Delos uh, has ever done this except for Connor. And Connor's one of our buddies that came back to help us go through here. I saw somebody asking how much does it cost to go through the canal. I think it was like $2,200 is what they paid. Um, and the reason why I'm talking and not Karen is she's taking care of Sierra and Brian is driving the boat. So that is a little chaotic. So that's why I grabbed it. Good to see me back. Well, it's good to be back. I appreciate these guys giving me a call. It's been a year since I've been on Delos, but uh, think about these guys every day. And as you guys know, they are just one of the nicest people you're ever gonna meet. So when they gave me a call and said, come back to the Panama Canal, I said, I'm in. Now, if you look, this side over here is gonna be our responsibility because these guys, I don't know if you can see them, but there's a couple guys standing right there. They're gonna start throwing us lines and they're gonna help walk us through too. And then they're gonna start filling up some water. Are they going to Seattle to complete the lab? I don't know about that yet. Um, I know that, you know, Mexico is on the list, so we will see what happens after Mexico. These guys always, uh, you know, do things, uh, you know, by a couple weeks at best. They don't plan too, too far out, so we'll see. But it looks like they're balling up the lines. These guys right here are balling up the lines, getting ready to fill them over for us. Don't stress out. Somebody said they're stressing out watching us. I promise you. <laughs> stress level here is very low. Have you ever known Brian to be stressed? Yeah. He's not a stressful person. Yeah. He's very chill. We're not the center boat, so it's a little less stressful. ready to throw us so I'd say the width of the canal is a hundred feet and if you can see it there's a big big, big container ship just in front of us so we kind of come in on his coattails all right here's the guy getting ready to throw the rope he's got his his ball and everything he's got it all looped up he's getting ready to throw it and we'll catch it Love to Jordan. I will tell her that. Hey, Jordan, somebody said love to you. <laughs> somebody said in the message, love to you. Jordan said, oh, thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Here's the moment, okay? Is this guy gonna be a Michael Jordan? Or is he gonna throw a brick? 
Here he goes. Here comes the throw. All right. Look. Oh, look at this. Look at it. Oh. Boom. <laughs> Two points. Two points. It's not his first throw, I promise you guys. All right, number two. Here comes another one. Here we go. Come wow. On. Watch out. Kid almost got it in the face. <laughs> All right, so we got the monkey fist. So now our ropes are on our side. So now we connect them together. So I just throw a quick hitch on here. One and two. That's the monkey fist, it's a little weighted knot. Now they're ready to pull the line in. So I feed it out. Actually, no, I hold it for now. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hold this until we get all the way up top. Because these guys have to walk up there, so they don't even want to carry all this. I'm just gonna hold this tight. So I can go ahead and just get it off there. And then we're gonna walk up here. We're gonna walk all the way up. They're gonna go up this ramp. And once we're in the lock, then they'll pull this bow line out over onto the dock side. So, standing by right now. Awesome. My Did a great job. Yeah, good. This kid right here in red. How far away did that thing come from your head? Like, it was like an inch, wasn't it? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah! Yeah, it was! Yeah! It, it went flying by and almost hit him in the head and swung under. So, he, he had good lightning reflexes. Now the line handlers on land are slowly walking us up the canal. Now the stress is over. Who's the third boat? I don't know. I had to check to see what their name is. We don't know them. You just get paired up with people. How many kids are on that boat? I believe there's six kids on that catamaran. It's uh, two brothers, and it, one has four kids and one has two kids, and they're heading for, I think they're heading to Tahiti. Is it called a, a, an advisor or a pilot? Well, you, I've called them, I've heard them called both things, so we're still, we're still learning. Did we work on painting the top of Maggie? Yes, good eyes, yes. They're putting a new texture on top of Maggie. Uh, two things, make it a little bit cooler and also to put a little grip on it. Total Boat uh, products, that will be in a future video. Uh, somebody said happy birthday to Brian. Yes, we celebrated Brian's birthday yesterday and it was awesome, 46 years old. There's some people out here on live telling you guys hi, by the way. So y'all guys want to say hi back to everybody? They're all, they're all very impressed with you guys. How far out did they schedule the pass? They, they scheduled this about uh, 10 days ago. How old? The kids range anywhere from like six, six years old now to start 14. All right, now we're going to give them some lines. There goes the line. Heading up. Hey, look how little that guy is up there. I saw somebody said, much love from Hatteras. I'm a North Carolina guy, so I appreciate that. Off. It's about to get real in here now. Now all the water is going to come rushing in. I'm going to get off this bow. Yeah, let's go ahead and just clean a little bit, huh? Yeah, <laughs> let's get away from danger zone if anything happens. Maybe I'll climb in Maggie. All right, a little bit better view. Brian, how are we doing over there? 
We had to tighten our spring line, so other than that, we're doing good. We're in the lock. First lock. Sorry, we're into the wind now, so it may be a little bit loud. Yeah, sorry. Great. Is there anybody watching? A lot of people are watching. Really? Right? Cool. Everybody seems really excited. And, uh, <laughs> I'm really excited. They're so nervous. They, they think they think that we're really stressed out. So I'm trying to explain to them that there is no stress well, on this side of things. I'm a little though. anxious, to be honest. Yeah. This is it's, new for us. Yeah. It's behind the door. Oh, jeez. Oh, the doors are oh, closing. Look at those things. So if we wanted to get out, now's the time. Hey, thank you, by the way. We should have gotten out. We're gonna go back here. I'm gonna scoot by Marco here. Marco is awesome. He's been helping us out with lines today. Here go the doors. They're shutting down. Yes. Yeah, really. Goodbye, How clean is the water? Looks like ocean water to me. Calico skies. Yes, they'll be following us tomorrow. Today, um, they did not they did not get their transit for today, so they'll be coming through tomorrow. Getting some love from Minnesota. That's awesome. It is a lot hotter here than I'm sure it is in Minnesota. Jordan has been on board now for about three days with us. Yeah. And I'm telling you, this girl has been working hard to get some awesome shots. I'm excited about the new videos that will be coming out because she pretty much keeps that camera right there in her hands at all times. I'm trying to get the moment that the last, there's like one little crack of light until the door is shut all the way. Let's see if we can find that moment That's ourselves. I'm waiting to see if we can get it. The moment! Brian, did you see the monkey ball almost hit the kid in the face? No, I oh missed my God. that. Because yeah. it went over Delos? It went over us, and the kid in the red shirt up there literally ducked at the last second. That thing went whoosh. And then well, the dad that's, said, that's, "That's a cruiser reflex." Be, the kid, the kid's gonna do well in life. Yeah. The kid's gonna do well. Yeah, right, so the water's gonna start coming up now. Yeah, water's gonna come up, and we're getting it, getting going. Yeah. Oh, by the way, tell us about these shirts. Are you gonna? Are we gonna put these out or not? What's up? Yeah, we're, if it passes our, our stringent quality test. Okay, so I'm wearing it. Show the hood, because that's what the I hood? think's really cool. See. This is the first one I know that's had a hood on it. And look at the little zipper pocket on the side arm. Check it out. You know, when you're going into shore and you need that, you know, ID. Plug, not for sale yet. Not, not for sale yet. One day. You gotta get Senior Brady to work on that. Yes. Look at all these funnies. Go off, uh, yeah. Look at the water coming uh, here's, a, here's a funny piece of uh, information you guys might uh, uh, think is interesting. Is I asked the guys that are um, helping us out the um, line handler and the um, and the pilot if this is the most cameras they've ever seen and of course they said no there's actually more oh wow this is neat if you can look I'll try to hold real still see the steps on the side watch how quick that water is coming up so they just got to the top of that step it is rising probably somewhere in the vicinity of one foot every I'm gonna say every 20 seconds Done locks in Seattle many times. Awesome. Yeah, Brian said that he's done a lock before in Seattle, and that was the other, the other lock this time. Oh gosh, the water is rushing in. 
Hey Sierra, how's it going? <laughs> this looks like some kind of tidal wave. So what we have to do is, is keep these lines tight. But look, there's like little mini, mini like white water rafting going on out here. If you're still watching, we really appreciate it. It's a cool, cool time to be on Delos here. We appreciate you guys being at home and being a part of it too. Just like that, like literally we are getting close to the top of this wall here. I mean, we are, my head is almost as high as that wall. Real tight right now. Woo, baby. And we're hooked up to the wall over here. Connor is doing an amazing job. So what he has to do is, as we come up, pull it tight. is I'm standing on this side of the line. So if any of this were to break, it's all on the other side of me. So I'm staying clear over here. Waiting for my moment to get some slack in it. Alright, so now I'm coming up to it. Here we go. So you gotta take it in, take it in. Wait! Holding. So there's like four advisors here and so sometimes they say different things. So <laughs> <laughs> to be ready to go. Alright, standing by. So another really cool thing is, before all this happened, because we're not allowed to have a drone, but before all this happened, we put a GoPro all the way on top of the mizzen, right there. And so when the video for this comes out, you'll be able to see all this happen, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let me get just you and the, I'm gonna try and get Wow, just, just like that, we are already to the top of this wall. I would say they started putting water in here somewhere between five and six minutes ago. And oh my gosh, look at the lock. Look at the wall on the lock back there. Yeah, do you guys want a little family picture? Yeah. Look at the wall on the lock. It's only like five feet out of water now. If you look back right there, it's like five feet. Look at, look at cheese. Trout Mr. Mount. Posing for a photo. Almost lost it. There they are. Gotta get family pics when you're in the Panama Canal. Thank you. Wow, that went pretty fast. Like, yeah. How quick we went from just closing the doors to now the doors are. It's a massive amount of water. So this is one lock of three locks. So we've got two more to go, and we probably have another hour and a half or so left of that. And then if you look on Google Earth, you'll see it. There's actually a huge lake between here, these three locks that take us up, and then there's three locks on the Pacific side that take us back down. So tonight we'll actually be on a mooring ball out in the middle of the lake, spend the night out there, Tomorrow morning we get up, we go all the way across the lake, which is like 30 miles maybe, and then we get to the other locks, and then we go down. So, and then Panama City time. Oh, I think I saw somebody say, why don't we fly the drone? Because we're not allowed to fly the drone in the Panama Canal. Trust me, we asked. <laughs> we, we totally asked. <laughs> but no, it's a good rule, because there's a lot of stuff going on in here very expensive uh, cables and boats and things like that and we wouldn't want to take any chances of uh, hurting anything. Out in the ocean when they're out in the middle of nowhere, not such a bad deal, but here it's a different deal. Yeah, they're on. Yeah, this one just isn't. Oh. Okay. Did you smack it? Yeah. 
Just for a couple of days, you got Connor out here. You got me, I'm Ryan. And then you have a line handler Super from, from Panama. <laughs> you got a line handler from Panama. We have a pilot from Panama. And then we have Jordan. Um, and then we've got Sierra. And then we've got Karen and Brian. So right now, it's like eight of us. Um, but it's by the rules. You have to have four line handlers along with a captain. So because Karen has Sierra, then we kind of negated her as being a, a line handler because she has to take care of Sierra. She's a Sierra handler. And so then that's why the four of us are here to help out with, with the lines. Hood River, Oregon, heck yeah. We've got family out in Hood, or Hood uh, area. Yeah, my wife and daughter are flying there in a couple of weeks. Good place. Salem. So a lot of Oregon people these days. Traverse City, Michigan. Heck yeah. That's off beat path. Good spot. So Ryan, these uh, these locomotives in front, they actually don't don't pull the ship. Okay. The locomotives, their only job is to keep it in the center. Got the lock. And then the ship's going to move on its own power. So he's going to put his engine. So he's going to put his engine on, and then we should see like prop wash hit us. Here's the bells and whistles. Not often you get to see Brian hanging out on the front of the boat, <laughs> but oh yeah, the little train over there. So if you can see it, there's a train right there, and he's got his cables going to the stern. I think it's just to make sure that everything goes well. Go. Oh, there we go. Hey, Jordan. There's the prop Check wash. this out. Here comes the prop wash. So you can see it right now, right in the back of it. Sierra, come here. Come on, nuts. Can I pan around? Yes, I'll do a quick pan. Okay. So, again, this is lock one. We go through. Some of you guys just joining. So, buddy boat. So, this is a 48 foot leopard. Two fam uh, family that is on there. And they are our center boat. And then on the other side, you can barely see the mask. It's a 31, 32 foot sailboat. We're all tied together so we can go through together. And then there's the back of the box. You can just barely see it. It's just two feet left of it. So, we are already way up in the air. And if you look, you can see way back there is the bridge. It's on the bridge back there. So we're already up, I don't know, 40, 45 feet. And then again, if you followed us for the last hour, all of this was way above us. And now it is sitting here almost below us. SB Lotus, you're welcome. Thank you guys for following us. Super ride is super at everything. He'll paint your bottom. He'll sand your hull. He'll do a live stream. Please. He'll do a live stream, man. He'll do everything. Well, That's why they call him Super Ryan. Better chance than wrecking the boat, so. <laughs> I just hope that we have a video of my man right here in red. I mean, you guys would have to see. I want the slow-mo of that thing coming that and first. almost hitting him in the head. And he just weaved and bobbed right on past it. Just remember, we got two more to go through, so you might have to be on the watch again. Questions about the hoodie. Richmond, Virginia, awesome. I'm a big fan of Richmond. I'm a Roanoke guy, actually. Do you think you got a shot of the monkey that's coming in? 
I think so. Okay, because I did sort of, but it like, went. Do you know how yeah, Maggie yeah. got her name? I'm pretty sure I got it. Brian? Yeah. Hey? We got a question about how Maggie got her name. We were in Australia and we were just looking for like a good name for a boat. We were watching a lot of Simpsons and Maggie came to mind. I'm telling you right now, I've watched every episode and I never knew that. So that's uh, great. Actually, if you search on Google for uh, on sfidelis.com, meet Maggie, there's like a blog post and story about it. Oh, see, I did bad. I didn't read, I just watched. <laughs> Charlottesville, Virginia. How about that? There's another stomping ground that you spend a lot of time in. Washington, D.C. Man, we really appreciate you guys. I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere here and seeing everybody from around the world giving us all this love. We really do appreciate it. Ah. Oh. Somebody said Roanoke, Virginia. These things go very quickly, so I can barely see it. But somebody said Roanoke, Virginia. Did I start at Smith Mountain Lake? And yes, I did. I grew up on Smith Mountain Lake. Um, if that person is an older person, they may remember What About Bob? And in fact, I was in the filming of What About Bob 32 years ago. I think that reminds me of like a matchbox set, you know? You guys a little train. Calgary. I got a speed dig in Calgary one time. <laughs> I wish I could answer and say so many things. These are going so quick. New York City. Alright. Lock one down. Almost. Almost. Jordan has literally spent the last about 12 hours behind this camera. <laughs> yeah. And usually when people do that, that means they don't want the camera on them. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna switch things up yeah. for just one second. Hello world! And we're gonna put a little camera on Jordan. You guys all remember Jordan, yes, right? Yes, hello! Yeah. yeah, I was on Delos, I guess, maybe three and a half, four years ago in the Caribbean um, when Kaza and Brian got married. That's right. In Antigua and a few months yeah, prior to that, to the Caribbean was pretty sweet. And yeah, it's pretty hard to put the camera down because it's just so visually just unbelievable. Like the scale of everything and the lights. It is cool to come through at night. It's actually re really amazing. Love yeah, I think we were like a little oh. nervous that going through at night wouldn't be as cool, but I don't know. It seems like it's actually, wor actually working out real well. It's pretty yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. So for you guys that don't know, we're gonna tell you that Jordan joined the boat three days ago right see and the cool thing is is here in a couple months you'll start seeing her in a lot of videos and jordan's been uh you've been working for delos for like almost two years now doing a lot of the editing yeah so uh, like you've been a big part of this team for a long time and so it's gonna be really cool to see you back on the boat yeah yeah yeah, and, yeah i've uh, been editing from afar just having the footage sent to me and now i'm excited to yeah do some filming do some diving do some surfing yeah surfing she's a big surfer now so yeah. we're excited about yeah. seeing her cutting up Kelly, yeah, she, Kelly don't Slater's get style. don't get too excited. <laughs> she replaced my bunk with surfboards right now. Yeah, I, 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 I'm very familiar with their surfing habits. <laughs> yes, I know where I stand the totem pole. I'm somewhere below below the surfboards. <laughs> Connor's gonna be spooning with some surfboards tonight. <laughs> it got quiet up here. All the dings and the bings and the loud noises are all quieting down. So. It's like a calm before the storm. I think we're getting ready for number two. I hear one of the captains saying, it's time to go. Sierra's our new line handler. Oh, I got to check out. So it's like, it's like only 7.30 here now. How's it like only 7.30? It seems like it's late. Look at Sierra, she's working hard. This girl isn't laying around doing nothing, no. She's getting the lines. She's making sure everything is taken care of. And just like I said, look, there's Jordan on top of getting all the video. Cooler at nighttime. I agree. I'm starting to think the same thing. 
Ah, uh, somebody from Bla Flagstaff said hi to Brian. That's right, that's his old stomping ground. Uh -huh. Alright, party's getting ready to get real now. Back to work again. Alright, let's get a fender ready. So this is the guy that's calling the shots. He's the guy that talks to the other captains on the other boats and tells us what to do. And here's one of the line handlers. And remember, they will get in a wave. He's waving. All right, awesome. Hi, hi. We're popping on along here. Let's step back. And we'll kind of watch Brian, and I'll show you a little bit about what he's got to do and all the communications he's doing right now. It's back to go time. Okay, hey, we got a little close to the wall there. Okay, everybody, let's get a hold and keep her easy. Okay, okay. Go out. I'm forward. Forward. They said let Nugget drive. <laughs> Nugget's handling the lines right now. She's very busy. <laughs> look, at, look at these lines. She is pulling. She is making sure that no line is left pull. slacked. Ah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> she might be the hardest worker hey. out here right hey. now. Hey. 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 Are you able to pop a new battery in this? I'm seeing donations go up and I want to say thank you very much, but they go up so quick I can't read the name that people are saying, so just want to say thank you to you guys. These guys really, really appreciate all your support. Definitely makes a huge difference. We got a little difference. line handler in training over there. Yeah, she's doing great. Sierra's working. She's, she's going to get adopted by the Panamanian. She's going to sleep well tonight. She coiled it up all nice. Now she's super excited. Look at this duo. We, oh, well, we just lost one of the duos, but that was <laughs> was that a duo shot? It was a great shot, man. Y'all looked like large and in charge. It's a little tricky maneuvering this raft through Thank here. Thank you, Jake. We appreciate that. I could read that one. Forward, forward. Set the nugs free. I'm telling you, we leave that girl free all the time. <laughs> Unleash the nugs. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it can be a little scary. Clinton, thank you very much. We appreciate that. I love it. It's a fucking job. My eyesight, I can't see. I have to put it out too far now. Can we? Yeah, see the, see the train going by? So that's the guys that pull the big boats through, okay? We're not in the big boat world. These guys take care of us. Um, somebody asked us if we could throw. So somebody just asked us if we could put a, a beer on the line when we throw it to the line handlers on the, on the shore and, and see if they uh, want a monkey fist beer. I think, they're, I think they're working too hard. We might not yeah, want all that. They're wearing hard hats and vests and everything. Yeah. And obviously you can see Brian is definitely not uh, not 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 being able to put it into uh, autopilot. So it is all hand steering tonight. Who's the buddy boat? So we talked about this a little bit earlier, but it's just a random uh, catamaran that happened to be in the same marina as us. And they very nice family. Yeah, very families. nice family. Uh, wild wild wings or wild 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 thing. tribe. Wild tribe. Six kids on board. 
six kids, two brothers, uh, and they're actually huge Delos fans. So when they found out yesterday that they were going to get to go through the canal with us, it was, it was awesome. super nice. Robbie Morris, thank you so much for that. And we really do appreciate all the love. And it, is, it is amazing to be in the middle of Panama, in the middle of nowhere, and just feeling all the love from all yeah. you guys. Thank you for the support. Yes, Gary P. Thank you. for the support. We would have stopped a long time ago. AIS feed here. Okay. Old man Brian. You know, he's only 46. I don't know that I would call him old man, especially since I'm I'm 45 and a half. So We're about the same. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. Here again. State of mind. That's right. State of mind. So so here's one of the line handler guys. He's helping us out. I mean, this dude has been working all day. So now you can see his line is going all the way back up to that guy. And what's neat is, is here in about, I don't know, 30 minutes, we're going to be up at that height again. Because Brian lost weight. Actually, I think he has. I think he has gotten cut up over the last couple of months. I was telling him I thought his Instagram photos were looking pretty pretty slim and trim. Charlottesville, heck yeah. Next gate, it's closing. So this is Marco, and Marco, we ju jumped on with us today, and he is right from here in Panama. This is his two over. He's done over 200 of these, and this is what he does for a living: is he jumps on people's boats one after another to go and and help them with their lines. And you just gotta watch the art, but he's constantly adjusting this rope and tensioning it to the guy up top. Again, I'm sorry, the gimbal, I'm new to this gimbal thing since so move it off. Thank you, Colin, thank you so much. Is there gonna be an official circumnavigation? Absolutely. At some point, Brian will get all the way around, but it's up in Mexico, so that's where uh, his circumnavigation will happen. closed. Here we go. Actually, it's a good point. People are asking me, how are we doing this right now? That thing right there is how come we're talking to you. What's the satellite company, Brian? Viasat. Viasat. This wonderful dome right here makes all kinds of stuff possible for us to be able to watch and stream and give you guys live content. Alright, doors are closed. Yep. Another chapter is closing there. This is a live stream, that's correct. meter here. It's 42 feet, so I'll keep checking back with that. When the water starts rolling in, 
We'll see how fast. Oh, oh, wait, wait. It's already coming in. Look at it. It's already coming in. They don't mess around here in Panama. They get things done. There's 43 feet. Forty-four feet. We're gonna ask Marco real quick. Hey, Marco. So it says forty-four feet. Does that mean forty-four feet from when we started, right? The lock before. No, no each one. Each one. Yes. Okay. All right. So yeah, it's 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 cruising on up. Getting closer to forty-five. Ryan, who are you? That's a good question. Uh, so I've been following these guys for eight years, and if you go back to video, I don't know, 289, you'll see where I sand at the bottom of the boat, and then after that, guys pass to be with these guys. So how are we doing? We're doing great. We're watching. We're watching it's here. It's creeping up so fast, yeah. huh? Yeah. And as, 40... as as we come up, you already talk about how he's taking in the lines. Yep. Marcus. Yep. Keep him keep him in tension. Connor's doing the same thing. Uh, boat over there, there's two other people doing it, four corners of the raft. Oh, look at us getting pushed over this way. And all that force for the entire thing goes on that one cleat up there. I'm still nervous about why the wall's got all the water coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe put some bubble gum on that next time. SV Wind, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Just Karen running around. We're all running around. Crazy. How long does it take to go through the canal? For the, from what I can tell, is these first three locks will be done probably in another hour. So, from actually entering the first lock, now I'll stay over here so we can keep an eye on the footage. From the first lock to the third lock is probably going to take a total of about two hours. Then you've got about a 30 some mile motor tomorrow through a lake. And then we got to go down, down three locks. So we're going up three locks a day, down three locks tomorrow. So I mean, how long does it take to go through the Panama down? It takes about a day and a half. You could do it straight through, but we're we're not doing it's it straight. It's 50 miles, through. right? Is it 50 miles? It's 50 miles from where we just entered to the other end. So if you went straight through, uh, six knots, seven knots, you know, I, they say with the lock time, somewhere between eight to ten hours if you're going straight through but we're gonna stop in the middle we're gonna spend the night in, uh, in the lake which I'm really excited about yeah I think the lake's how many how many people know we're gonna sleep in uh, Lake Atoon that's pretty <laughs> exactly. cool right exactly yeah yes yep somebody just said make sure that people are hitting the like button please do we appreciate that like buttons make a big difference and look if you guys haven't looked lately these guys have very quickly creeped up to they're like over 750,000 subscribers. I'm I'm personally trying to get these guys. I would have, love have to see them. Have you subscribed, Ryan? Of course I subscribe, man. I'm like number one. Uh, I'm personally hoping to see these guys get over a million here in the next year. I think they deserve it. I mean, I'm here to tell you. I've, I've been on the boat. It's a tall order. Yeah, it's a tall order. But I've been on this boat three times now, and I'm here to tell you, these guys work their butts off, and they do it to make sure you guys get to see what it's like to be living their life. And um, I, I, I sometimes wake up in the uh, middle of the night and they're on the computers and they're working hard. And so it's all to bring you guys the content that they want you guys to love. So, all right, so one of the deals is, is that we are responsible for feeding uh, the pilot and the line handler. And so, well, you just finished your food. How, how was the food? Very fine. What was Very it, by good, the way? Huh? Lasagna. Very Lasagna? Good. Yes. All right. All right. Very. Well, see, like that's one of the deals is is we got to feed these guys, which obviously we're happy to do because they're busting their butts to get us through here safely. And these guys are a well-oiled machine. So there's some of the instruments there, which obviously, obviously the depth is 16 feet. I guess we can look at the depth gauge and find out just how much water is under us, too.
Jordan. You got another high, by the way. Hello. I think people are really stoked. Hola. I think people are stoked to hear you're going to be on the boat for a while. I believe they're, they're stoked, but I bet they're not as stoked as I am to be here. <laughs> That's right. That's a good point. How many times can we say stoked in one Panama Transit? Everybody's sending you love. Let's campaign to get them to a million. I couldn't agree more. I mean, these guys have seriously, I feel like they're the old school, like the originals, man. And, um, you know, uh, they need to get to a million. I think it'd be huge. Road to a million. Hashtag road to a million is what they're putting out here. All right. Canal to a million. That's right. Galveston, Texas. Heck yeah. Good place. That's 16 meters, Ryan. That's a good point. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> We've uh, we've been going nonstop all all uh, all day long, getting everything ready, and of course, hard to sleep last night. Hi from Norway. Hurry up and wait. That is what this is. Absolutely. Raleigh, North Carolina. Ryan's playing it cool. He is, but that's because he has worked hard to make sure we got everything in line. And absolutely, things are organized well. I don't know why I'm in the captain's chair here. I need to get out of the way. So, took out some M&M snacks. <laughs> people on it. We were just looking at the plate here, and oh, oh, oh seconds. No. Excellent. <laughs> See. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, so throwing yes. the lie in my face. On a scale of 1 to 10, because I see a lot of people asking, how nervous are we going through here? 1 to 10, 1 being not nervous at all, 10 being nervous, where, where would we fall? I would say like when we first started, I was probably about an 8. Uh, but now when we're in here and like seeing how everything works and like how capable everybody is, uh, I think I'm like a 4. Like it's still pretty intense, like when you get really close to the wall and like We've heard some horror stories, like one, like two days before we were going to go through, like they got the gear, wasn't like they thought they were going forward, but she was going backwards. She see like smashed this other boat into the wall, uh, which I've kind of like, I don't know, when you hear stuff like that, you get a little bit, oh shit, <laughs> but it was like a freak accident and they, you know, it was stuff broken with the boat. So yeah. Things can definitely happen in here. Yeah. And luckily we, we are so far, Knock on some wood. There's some wood around here. Okay, good. Nice. We're gonna keep on keep on checking on in on people. <laughs> Thanks so much, Karen. And <laughs> we're gonna keep on walking around. Nugs is watching her favorite thing, George. She absolutely loved watching the big container ships go by earlier. I mean it was amazing. Back out here. Somebody said, love you, Karen. I'll let her know you said that. Thank well, you, guys. Melissa, thank you so much, Melissa. We really appreciate that. I could really use a cup of water. I'm not supposed to leave up here. Ryan, thank you very much, Ryan. That's my name. I like Ryan's. So Connor, two locks down. Yep. Right? Did yep. they just peanut you up or what? Yeah. What, what did you get? Some M&Ms? They, they knew what I was thinking, man. It's been kind of a long day. Need a little pick me up. Connor has been going all straight. Thank you, George. Thank you so much. Um, man, you guys are awesome. I mean, the love. Look at this captain. Look at this guy. Okay, okay, Let's okay, stand up, Connor. The crew. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Need some water. <laughs> 
I'm good. Hi. Is lasagna yet? <laughs> lasagna's coming. Lasagna's no way. Coming. Hydration is I'm an real, important thing. I'm real, this is perfect. Thing. Gotta stay hydrated. Yep. Amazing. Awesome. Best water ever. Oh. I just dipped it right out of the back <laughs> of the boat. This is all fresh water. Yeah, it's no. oh, yeah, all Don't fresh. need to treat it or just drink it. It's yep. good. So, Brian, when was the last time you exposed to fresh water? Borneo. The Kennebatongan River. Quite a few years ago. There you go. Does, does it feel weird having a, a seagoing, salty boat in fresh water? It feels pretty weird being a canal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that much for free. That's true. <laughs> so that's a good point. So, I mean, I, it is a good point. that This lake we're getting ready to go into is fresh water. Yeah, it's, it's all rainwater. Yeah. You know, it rains so much in Panama, they created a dam, created a giant lake. And, um, yeah, that's the only reason we're able to get through here. There was actually a failed attempt to build a canal previous to the U.S. doing it. Uh, and the reason it failed is because, well, it was in the late 1800s. Uh, they didn't really have the technology or the know-how to do it. A lot of people died from disease, unfortunately, malaria, yellow fever. Uh, and they actually tried to dig a canal all the way through its sea level. And then later on, uh, uh, the Americans came through and said, well, what if we put a dam here, create a giant lake in the middle that most of the canal will be, it'll be a lot less work, and then we'll create locks to get up to the level of the lake, and then we'll use the water of the lake to power the locks. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool idea. Yeah, and it's working great for us today, isn't it? Water always flows downhill, right? That's right, that's right. And while Brian was saying that, Nick, thank you so much for your donation. We really appreciate that. Thank you, Nick. Look at this. We're back up again at the top of the next one. We have one more to go. We're in the lake. Brian knows everything. You know what? You're probably right. Nice. <laughs> but don't, don't tell Karen that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't tell Karen. Okay, so let's look back again. Because back here, we can see that they were at the top of that lock. So, I mean, there's the top of the doors right there on the second lock. And if you look way back there, look over the Viasat um, satellite dish, just to the left of it, there's where the other lock is. And then, I don't know if you guys can see it, because it's way out there. But there is a row of lights way out there, and that's the bridge we went under earlier. Uh, probably like two hours ago. So, whoops! Kimball just died on me. Kimball just died. I need to get. Can you get this thing off, and I'll just carry this phone, I guess. Yeah. All right, we got a little technical difficulty. We'll be right back. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Got it. All right, so the gimbal died for a second, which was, it was struggling anyway. For, yeah. So now we're gonna go with handheld here. Yes, Ryan is doing well. Thank you. I probably won't be able to talk tomorrow. That's okay. That's okay. So, Connor. Okay, who's a true Delos fan and knows who Connor is? And I'm talking about like you got to know. Delos history. This is the guy that was stranded with these guys back in the Ragged Islands yeah. in 2020. Panama, yep. or, sorry, pandemic times. Pandemic See, I, got, times. I got Panama on my brain. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah, get back it. in the pa pandemic, you know, him and his his wife, not at the time, they got married in the Raggeds. Him and his wife were on a sailboat and yep. just happened to be uh, hanging out. And uh, along comes Delos, and these yep. guys ended up living together four months. Yeah. Yep. Connor's Connor getting ready to days. Connor's getting ready to get back on point here. But I'll, fun, I'll keep talking. Fun fact: Tell me I fun was fact. back in the video when they were flying back to Borneo. So we were just talking about Borneo a moment ago. That was the last time this boat was in freshwater. The last, the very first video I was in was on their route back to Borneo. 20, I don't know, 16, 17. So it, it, it's a full circle kind of full thing. Full circle. It's called full, full circle. circle. How about that? Well, tell me tell me how many of you sailors out there would not mind, I mean, not cheating with AIS, would not mind to just roll into an island, drop anchor, and look over, and guess what? It's Delos beside you. Well, guess what? That's what's happened to these guys. These guys are Delos fans from way back. How long have you guys been following Delos? 
And what's your name, by the way, sir? I'm Rob. Rob, that's uh, Rob. Rob it's is. Been a long time. I mean, at least been... There's apparently some videos of him at about age two saying, "We got to do that." Watching Dallas. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. And so then, out of nowhere, next thing you know, you're like, "Wait a second, we're getting rafted up with those guys <laughs> and going through the Panama Canal." I mean, yeah. how crazy is that, right? And the kids are all making fun of us because uh, we're excited to be here. Hey, listen, listen, I'm still excited about that's, that's being here. I'm still excited. Yeah, I mean, even Jordan, is that a yes? Are we still excited about being on Delos? See, again, not missing the shots. These guys followed Delos, and here they are, all tied up with us. But how many of you guys out there uh, would love to just absolutely just bump into these guys in the middle of nowhere? They met a star. Well, Connor, you're getting some love. They said, good to see you back on Delos. <laughs> Ever since he sold his sailboat, he's been trying to figure out a way to get back onto a new sailboat. Yes. Connor's a, yes. Connor was a brewer man, which is what I've spent a lot of time on yeah. as a brewer myself. Good, solid boats. Yes, solid blue water boats. Yep. Yeah, I grew up on it, uh, a brewer in near Chicago. I was homeschooled on a sailboat for a couple of years and then uh, on a brewer and then later in life came back to another brewer and then lived on with my then now wife we sailed around went down to central and south america and then COVID hit isolated up in uh the ragged islands for a while got married and these guys you know uh video the whole thing and the rest is history you know what episode it is when you guys are zipping off no idea i'm gonna say like it's got to be like in the one at two seventies would be my guess because I jumped on in two eight like two like two eighty nine or something. It came out like September twenty twenty maybe like September twenty twenty three months after. Yeah, so totally in the middle of nowhere, Ragged Islands. This guy and his wife figure out how to get married. So <laughs> you got to go back and check that one. So if you if you don't remember or if you want to see it. I hope you guys are not getting bored because it's still a very, very exciting time out here. One more lock to go. Where is Dallas heading next? Well, currently I'm hearing talks in Mexico. Where in Mexico? Don't know. Karen's bedtime is usually around 8 o'clock and it is 7.50. Not 8. No, no, like Karen. Not 10. Usually 10. 10 o'clock? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, on a, on a good night. But lately, you can vouch for this, I've been up like late. Yes. Because Karen's it's been, been very exciting and so many people and like, yeah, it's cool. Yes, and Jazz, thank you so much for the love. We appreciate that so much. I mean, it's it's amazing, Karen, I got to tell you. I'm seeing so many messages from all over the place. Right. And everybody just sending love and, and really seem to be excited about watching this. Um, big step in you guys' lives. Hi, Sarah. Lives. You want to say hi to people? Hi. Everybody loves seeing you. You want some more juice? Do you want some apple? Mmm. Okay, apple cup. She's inhaled this juice that I gave her. <laughs> Everybody loves some, Everybody some juice. Everybody likes juice. Yeah, last lock coming up, huh? One more lock, yeah, and then one. we get to lock onto a ball, and then we get to relax. Uh-huh. Uh, Eat some dinner. And then I don't know when we're going through tomorrow. I guess they'll tell us all that stuff. I mean, a lot of this yeah. stuff you kind of find out last minute, right? Yeah, it's not like that much. Maybe you're not asking. We didn't asking even know them. our time until yesterday. Yeah. So it's kind of like last minute stuff. I guess they just want to keep oh. like open. Oh, it's go oh, time. Oh, oh, oh. It's go time. Okay. Thank you. Like two seconds. So this guy over here whistling. That's like he's the guy that calls the shots because they're in the middle boat. And they're calling the shots. Okay, no. I'm in forward. Back to go time. Forward, forward. We've all seen this view a hundred times, and I tell you, it doesn't get old. I think because we're a lot heavier boat than the boat on the other side. So they, we have more uh, ability to control the raft. Yeah, because he's probably what, 32 feet over there? I think he's 40. Really? Okay. So, or no, 34. Yeah, 34. 34. He's a little guy. Yeah. I mean, 
nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying compared to the 53 feet over here. Yeah, and just the weight difference is incredible, right? Yeah. You can see the guy on the, the line handler just beside Brian's head. He's, he's walking us along. That's what keeps us from hitting the wall. Where's Calico Skies? Yeah, somebody keeps that. Uh, they're at uh, Shelter Bay. They're going yep. through tomorrow. Going through tomorrow. Maybe they'll do a live stream also. That'd be cool. Maybe. Queenstown, New Zealand. I was heading to Queenstown, uh, New I Zealand. Queenstown. Yeah, I was heading there before the daggone pandemic hit. Mountains of Colorado. It's cold in Colorado right now, and I'm telling you, it's like, I'd say it's like 85 degrees out here today. Probably just spend the night on the on the deck, to be honest with you. Long Island, New York says hi. We liked Taylor. Hey, I'll tell you about Taylor. We actually just did a video chat with Taylor, what, like an hour ago as we yeah. were starting to go through the canal. Yep. She's in the Bahamas, man. She's having a great time. Um, I was lucky enough to do a little bit of work on her boat back in December. And, lucky uh, enough to go work on their <laughs> boat. <laughs> I love working on people's boats. <laughs> love it. So, uh, yeah. Well, that is the man. If you're ever trying to figure out how to get somewhere in life, you just have that attitude. <laughs> You, you convince yourself you're lucky enough to work on other people's boats and opportunities open. That's right. That is for sure. TT, thank you so much. Thank you for the love. We really do appreciate that. Somebody said Super Ryan. I'm, I'm glad to see. Super Ryan, that's right. <laughs> I will say this. Brian's the one that gave me that name. I, I, yeah, get, I, did, yeah. I get a little bit blushy when when I when I hear that name. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'm so super, but yeah. yeah. Thanks, thanks to Brian. So that's not self-described. That is uh, <laughs> that is just a description. That's just the truth. Absolutely. Ooh, was ah darn it! It was so quick. But I saw somebody asking, were they in fresh water in French something or other? I'll have to check that out. Outer Banks. How about Tortuga's Lie? Whoever that was that said Outer Banks. That's one of my favorite restaurants. It's Tortuga's Lie. Tortuga's Lie, I think it is. I think there's an S on the end of it. Ryan needs his own channel. I will tell you this, I don't. <laughs> I like doing it with everybody else. Yeah, it's too much work. I'm serious, I'm, I'm here to tell you. Let me, let me just take this moment to tell you guys. You know, this is my third time on the boat um, and I, I've hung out with these guys numerous times other than that. As you can see, we're going up this hill. Brian and Karen are the two hardest workers I know. I mean, I'm serious. These guys are constantly busting their butt. Uh, to, to make the content that they think you guys want and really bringing you along on this this whole whole trip of theirs uh, so because I've seen that no I don't want to do a random channel but I appreciate the love this is really cool These guys is messed. Like, see, that's the third boat over there. It's about a 33, 34 foot uh, sailboat. And his mast is only about as tall as the wall. Like that guy right there and him and the top of that mast are almost the same height. So this last lock's gonna be big. Okay, there's the door. There's one of the lock doors right there. So as soon as we come up on the butt of that boat right there, that lock right there is gonna close up. I just made another donation and I couldn't read the name. It was too quick. Thank you so much. It's sailing, I think. That's all I got to see was sailing on the side. So thank you so much. Wedding episode is 285. Oh, now we know. Thank you. Thank you, whoever said that. Awesome. So 285. That's right. Because it was like right at the end and then they left and they came to Annapolis and that's when we did the bottom. Ryan for president. Wouldn't do it if I. <laughs> if I if I even had the chance. Steve B, thank you, Steve B. Thank 
Thank you for the wishes and thank you guys for the love. This is very excellent. Good. I'm glad you guys are liking it. I hope that it's not getting boring at this point. We really want you guys to just see this whole thing. Sleeping on the deck with mosquitoes. That's a good point. I'm a little bit nervous about the mosquitoes myself, so we'll have to see if that's going to be a, a thing or not. Show us your face. I don't know about that. <laughs> Get me all up. Let's see. I can... Let's see if I can switch it around. It isn't my phone. There we go. It isn't my phone. It's uh, bring back Taylor. I know. Wouldn't you love to have some Taylor? Uh, Hey from Annapolis, Annapolis Boat Show. We love the Annapolis Boat Show. All right. All right, so there's the big boat. And they're getting ready to shut the doors behind us. I gotta switch over again. Okay. Doors are almost shut. I got some cool facts about these doors here. Let's get some cool facts from Brian about the doors. So because in. this is the last lock right before the lake, if this door were to fail, then the entire lake would just drain out. And so there's double doors here. So it's like a fail safe. Oh, and, oh okay. You got a good yeah. point. Okay, so and those doors just shut. Yeah. And what Brian's saying is right there's another there. set. So they're going to double door us. And Lawrence also said if, if they ever get into a period where there's not so much rain, then they can use those doors instead, which makes the lock chamber smaller, which means it uses less water. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's awesome. I mean, this is some serious engineering. I yeah, mean, it's and pretty it's, crazy, and it's, right? It's really eye-opening how these guys figured it out. It's amazing. And this, this, uh, the locks bring something like how much money is it? Like five billion a year into the Panama economy? Wow. I, I, I heard more, somewhere more, between. More. Nine million dollars a day, which is like four four really, billion. Really, I think like six thousand dollars. We got six thousand million of dollars. So six billion per year. Six thousand yeah, million. Yeah. Six billion. Really nice. That's crazy. Six like, billion dollars a year no. to the to the Panamanian you know economy country. in this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, I mean, a that's lot. huge. That's a lot. And and without this canal, to, okay. So I mean, and it was it was turned over from the U.S. government to Panama in 1999. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, December of the end of the year, and that was part of the original contract. Yes. But I also heard that in part of the contract was that it had to be open to all countries, mm -hmm. and it had to be open to boats of all sizes. Yeah, it's, it's the the no most, like, the the no yeah, it's no trade. Yeah, trade neutral. Yeah. So tell me that. And you have to be able to make five knots to go through. Yeah, if you, you don't can't make, make five, five knots, knots, you can't do it. So if you're like in a canoe, you're not you're not getting through here, huh? Not unless you can paddle five knots. <laughs> Olympic style speed. Okay. If you want, here comes the water. Starting to rush in. So. Can you get a group photo on the on the deck? We can't really get a group photo because it is absolutely... Everybody's working the yeah, lines. Yeah, it we, is. we got one before we left. Yes, and and for some of you guys, it's Maybe just... Maybe when we get through the lake and we split the boats apart. Yeah, that might be a good idea. There's a there's uh, one before really we started. Uh, look at us, we're getting a little bit squirrely here. It's getting just a little squirrely. Yeah, the water's rolling in. So you can see over here. Now it says 50 feet, and it is rolling, rolling it. JL, thank you so much. Appreciate that. I don't do that. You have two ways to two ways to be one. So for some of you guys that are just joining us or didn't see it from the get-go. The really cool thing is, before we even came on board or came to the locks, we positioned a GoPro all the way up at the top of the mizzen. So all this is getting videoed, and I'm sure in an episode here in a couple months, you'll be able to see all of this. And you've seen Jordan running around like crazy. She's been getting a lot and a lot of um, good footage of all this going down. 
You can look at Connor out there. Connor's got a uh, GoPro on his head, so we're going to get some real good footage of like literally how it's going. So, Neil, thank you very much, Neil. We appreciate that. How much did it cost to uh, pass the locks? Um, I think it is $2,100 total. And then I did see somebody ask what the total height is. Uh, it'll be 85 feet is what we'll have gained um, by the end of the day. So that's that's kind of where we're going to be is 85 feet higher. So. Brian, did you get any food yet? Huh? Got some M and M's, awesome. Those will power us through the through the night. So it's a little sugar kick there. We're probably only what, like maybe an hour away from locking on a ball. How far is it to the the morning from after we get through the door? German, thing. awesome. Oh, ten minutes. So very soon. Ten, 10 minutes. minutes. Not I mean, even one mile. When, once this lock fills up, and you can look back here and see, I mean, there's not much left. And once the lock fills all the way up, then boom, we're out on a morning ball, spend the night, and, and tomorrow. It's a giant. We'll get going. I um I would suggest this: take a minute after the live stream, go on to Google Earth, find the Panama Canal, and um and just look at it. It's really amazing uh, how it works. And um, this is actually the smaller one. If you guys don't know this, and I may have my history a little bit off. If you don't know this. There's actually a bigger one and there's a smaller one. We're in the smaller one. So like the big, big, big containers, which to me, that looks like a big, big container, but it's not. Um, big, big containers, they actually go in a lock about 100 yards that way. And uh, this is the older one and that's the super one. But take a look on Google Earth and zoom down and look at how it all works. It's really cool. Don, thank you so much, Don. Hey, Ryan, how's that phone battery doing? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. So Brian just asked me how the phone battery is doing. Because we're probably, what, like an hour and a half, two hours into this live stream? I don't know. Um, I'm looking right now. And we've got 5,000 people watching right now. Wow, sweet. Really? Yeah. It's amazing. Thank you. And we've got 2,600 likes. Uh, what's our uh, phone battery percentage? This isn't my phone, so I don't know. But I will say this, if it ever just drops, we'll just, under, just understand this it's phone battery related. It's not because we quit. You want me to give you a power pack? You oh. can put it in your pocket. Yeah, or we, we didn't. Stand by. Stand by. Okay, we're gonna get power pack it. We're gonna, we're gonna light it up here. Yeah, we're gonna get, listen. If you haven't ever seen this, I mean, Delos has got more electronics and gadgets <laughs> Then we know what to do. Well, I know what to do with. Brian knows well, what to do with. I lived on the boat for ages. This is something that freaked me out. Uh, I thought about it. I bought Delos in 2008, which means that next year uh, will be my 15th year living on this boat. This is home. It's like a I third mean, of my adult life. Light it up. Somebody said light it up. I love it. The last time I saw it, the one with the S C Y Z. I see a lot of things from you on their comments over the years, and thank you for all your support and following us. So I, I get the gimbal. I know, I know. My hands are shaking because I've been holding, <laughs> I've been holding it up for about two hours now, but the gimbal battery died on me and it went limp. <laughs> and so I'm having to hold the phone, and it's not my phone. That's the other thing is, so I don't want it to fall in the water. So I'm like gripping it extra tight to make sure it doesn't go splash. We need a long cord. We need a long, we look at the long cord. Kaz is sorting it out. Kaz she knows where everything is. Right. She's on top of it. Okay, now what I want you to do, Ryan, is stick this in your pocket. Stick it in the pocket. Oh, you needed that long cord. Uh-oh. The long, long cord. Okay, so here's another thing is, okay. Look, I know you guys know this boat very well. What is these cushions doing? What are the cushions doing right here, right? Does that make sense? We all know what's under there, right? This is solar panels, right? But if you saw earlier, they throw these ropes over and we don't want them to hit the solar panels. So these cushions are to pad that. And in fact, if you look, if you look over there, 
on the back. Okay, I'm, I gotta get powered up here. Karen's powering me up. So I, I've, I've now got a power pack in the pocket and we're putting the cord in. Boop. We're going all night now. Oh wow. I can just hold that right there. Dad. So if you look on top of the two solar panels back here, you guys know the cushions that sit on, sit on the back of the, uh, on the back of the deck. We actually put those cushions up there to make sure that if they threw the lines down, that they didn't hit the solar panel and break them. So that's what that's all about. Super Ryan is powered up. That's what Power they just said. Ryan is powered up. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Awesome. All right. Oh wow, there we are. Travis, thank you very much. Travis Gibbs, thank you. Hey Ryan. That was if they go to the Panama Canal webcam you can see us right now. Oh, okay, it's awesome. Called, Panama. It's called multimedia.panama canal. And if you press on it and you go to the got gatun? Gatun locks. Gatun locks. You can see multimedia, us. what is it? Uh, multimedia, what is it again? Wait, I'll, I'm just going to show you first. Wait, this the loading. Uh, oh, here we go. You can see us right there. Look at that. The man is always watching us, doesn't matter where. They get this. They got the cameras. So cameras the, right the there. Cameras, okay. The cameras okay. right up. It's the antenna, okay. So there's an antenna right there. And if you go on there, okay, so one more time, because maybe we were glitching yeah. out. What would what, what we call it? Multimedia.panama-canal.com. Okay, hopefully you guys got that. I bet if you search on like Panama Canal webcam, you will find it. Yes, you should be able to find us. There we're he the, goes. We're the big He's 53 going. foot of Mel. Wow, look at that. That's a good point. We are actually at 85 at feet above sea level. Yeah. Is that right? Dallas has there never is been high. 75. 75. 75 yes. Not even in the jack stands in Jabin's yard. We'll Dallas was never this high. No. This is it. Oh, hey, a lot of people say they can see us on that web that yeah. web link. That's awesome. Oh, that's great. Just don't leave this link to go to that link. <laughs> Split your screens, people. Split your screens. How are you behind such a huge boat? Well, that's a good point. They would not allow us to just do this by ourselves. So we're kind of like tagging along with that big boat. Um, of course, we don't get a discount, <laughs> but yes, uh, there's room behind him. Uh, so I would say there's 300, there's at least 300 feet behind that boat right there. That's probably a 1200 foot uh, long boat and there's 300 feet. So instead of just letting this space be wasted then they let private um cruisers go through oh everybody seems to be able to see us on that link it's awesome got two locks that's right Okay, perfect. It's a very Who are the people it, next it, it, to Delos? Let's go find out. Let's check it out. All right. So I'm getting that. I'm getting a question. Who are the people beside Delos? Tell us your name and, and the name of your boat, and tell us a little bit about you guys. Yeah, huge man. Uh, I'm Joe Becker. It's my brother Rob Becker. We're two families. Uh, we were trying to take a sailing trip for maybe 20, 25 years. We've been saving our money. COVID pushed us back a year, but we were able to leave this year from Turkey, made it this far, and never thought we'd be rafted to Delos for our <laughs> canal crossing, but here we are. It's fantastic. We've been big followers, and I got to say, Delos video got us through uh, a lot of the years where we were, you know, losing track of our goal and maybe, uh, you know, getting stuck with work and not thinking about our trip as much. And, the video has brought us to the finish line so we're psyched to be here and can't wait to continue on awesome well and, and what you got to understand about this guy folks is so he's in the middle boat okay so he's the one that's kind of driving us and uh he was in his in the pilot house 
over there. And I'm telling you, he was working his butt off to keep us off the walls. So we want to say thank you for your great driving. Yeah, I appreciate uh, that. Currently, and just so you guys can see, there's about 42 fans. I don't really know what's going on. I think we're about ready to take off. Yep. Anyways, we'll just go with it. I'm not getting the tower on my phone either. It like stopped uploading. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I see some of you guys saying we lost live stream. Yeah, something's just happened. It's 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 okay. It's it's gonna we're gonna plug through the best we can. I really appreciate you guys' if patience. If we go away for a few minutes, we'll be back. Yeah, if we go away, if we go away, we'll if be we back. If we go away right? for a few minutes, we'll be back. Hey, look at Sierra. Look, if Sierra, Sierra can make it, we can all make it, right? Oh, whoa! 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 People are saying we're back. That's awesome. We want to be back. Monkey right here. You being yeah, a monkey? Double, no, awesome. Glad to hear we're back. Thank you guys for being patient. Wee. These things happen in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> Yep. So again, just a two second burst of forward, uh, and I'll give a little port forward too. Yep, again, since he's the middle boat, he has to tell us, him and his captain. So, I mean, there's the captain that owns the boat, and there's the Panamanian captain that tells him how to drive the boat. So, they're constantly telling Brian over here if we need a little bit of a thrust or whatnot so that we can go down straight. So. All right, we're going to move boats real quick so we can get a better view. We're now over on the Leopard, our buddy boat and our center boat. And now you can see maybe a little bit better. Do you guys have any lines now? We're still Both connected. Our lines are on. There's nobody no guys here. over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't, we can't move forward. We don't have a stern line anymore. Okay, they don't have a stern line to starboard. We're going to be going this way. Okay. A little bit of miscommunication here, so we're working through it. Somebody took a party break. <laughs> Yeah, you guys can see the angle a little bit better at Dallas. So yeah, these guys are on the side, already on this side. Yeah, so it looks like we're back to live and doing well. So thank you guys for sticking with us. We we the bow on. So we were talking earlier about the cushions. So we got the cushions on the solar panels up here, and that's just to protect them when the guys throw the lines. And you guys were asking about a whole group photo. Well, there's about as good as I can do right now. We've got Karen, we got Jordan, we got Nugget, and if you look real closely, there's Brian. And we got Connor way up in the front there. Yeah. The port team. What happened there? So uh, <laughs> the, yeah, the line guys just took off, huh? The line. So it's not like everybody was ready except the port line guys on, on, that, on that side. Of the so these guys cast it off, and your guys didn't, which which means that potentially we get drift into the into the left side of the of the uh, canal. Here, here comes the coffee. Happen. Here comes the coffee break. Guys. This guy right here. He's walking along. I think he forgot that he was supposed to take our line. He's coming back now. Over here, I'll show you the other boat you guys have been hearing about. There's only three other boats. There we go. See, we can see everybody on there. Now we lost connection just for a second. We're back up and running. All right, look. 
the big boat is gone. It is just us and we are just heading straight forward. 85 feet higher. We're 85 feet higher than we were two hours ago. Good, good. I see you guys say we're back. Thank you. Sorry about that. We lost stream for a second. There should be enough room for you over there, Ryan. We're catching the fire. Maybe we jump over before we lose Yeah. Her. Yeah, don't untie yet. <laughs> So I did have some people ask about a whole group photo. So this is about as best I can get. Yeah. yeah. There's everybody over there. Connor, Jordan. Look at silly monkey over here, Miss Nugget herself. And if you can see Brian, he's kind of driving, so he's kind of down dipping over there. So. I know Marco. Marco. Yeah, these guys have been working hard today. So we're almost through. We're almost through. It's crazy. There's the front of it, there's the end of it. So one of the things, uh, I think we dropped a little service earlier, but the, uh, the smaller green boat on the other side, those guys are doing a circumnav and uh, this is kind of like the beginning for them, so that's what they're doing. So you see, look at the buoys in between. I mean, they are mushed, but that is to protect boats from anybody getting their scar up. The motor and now, look at this. You guys can look in there and see old Brian. Giant buoy. Giant buoy. Leon, thank you so much. All right. I'm going to make a dangerous step over. Here we go. We made it. All right, back on Dallas. <gasps> what? We're all the way through the first three locks. Three locks down. Three locks down. It's silly. It's so silly. You smell that? It smells like fresh water. Some fresh water. Jordan, how many gigs do you think you shot today? Uh, that's a good question. Probably. Okay. Let me see. How big are the, your memory cards? One twenty-eight. So yeah, I think I shot probably like. 64, probably about half the memory card. Wow, 64 gigs, 64 gigs today. Yeah, but it is. Yeah, on Justin's camera. And let's be honest, you don't go through the Panama Canal every day, do we? Yeah, exactly. So, so we had to nail it, right? Yeah, for sure. We couldn't it's mess it up. Slow. What? <laughs> so the boat turned upside down. We had a terrible disaster. In wait, wait, the boat didn't turn upside down. Sierra turned upside down. Now she's right side up. All right. Oh, it's getting dark out there. We're seeing the lake now for the first time. It is dark. I'm going to get Maggie so I'm out of the way. If you guys have noticed, by the way, that's right. Maggie's got a new paint job. It's a little bit of uh, anti-slip total boat. You'll see in a couple keep the boat cool because I saw a bunch of you guys asked about this. But it's to keep the boat cool and it's also to um, give some no slip. So, again, a couple months, you'll see all about it. Wow, party's about to break up, so we're getting ready to untie the lines. Yep, you guys get I think I might have to help out. I think I'm going to turn to left. Is that all right? 
Uh, yeah, we got the motor swords heavier. That's why I had us in left uh, four forward. Oh, okay. Okay. Now is the. Oh, okay. Connor's working hard still. So he's got to untie this last line. Untie that line right there. And then Dillis will be a free boat again. Are you ready to throw that to me? All right, you got slack. Go ahead. Okay, can y'all guys say party's over on that? <laughs> <laughs> Been great wrapped it up, you guys. We'll see y'all tomorrow, hopefully. I'm not saying see you guys to you guys, viewers. I'm saying that to the other boats. Before we turn off the live view, we'll definitely have uh, some goodbyes from Karen. Yeah, we're losing connection and I think we're going to wrap it up. Uh, it's pretty late, but we're just going to tie up to the buoy, sleep, and then go through the rest tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching, and we love you, all of you guys. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, Ryan, for doing the whole live stream. <laughs> it's been great. All right, Captain Brian's driving, so. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Woo! How do you turn this thing off? <laughs>